I mean, obviously, the, the rocket stayed on the on the launch pad for a while, and we did generate quite the rock tornado. When we were, when we went up to full thrust, uh, that the that that we may have compressed the sand underneath the concrete uh, to such a degree that the concrete uh, effectively bent and then cracked. At, at liftoff, uh, there were three engines that we didn't we, we chose not to start essentially, or that hit hit. Uh, uh, aborts that, and so we, we actually lifted off with 30 engines. At uh, T plus 27 seconds, uh, engine 19 lost communications, um, concurrent with some kind of energetic event that uh, liberated the outer <laughs> outer heat shield uh, from the e engines 17, 18, 19, and 20 area. At T plus 62 seconds, uh, we see additional aft heat shield damage uh, near engine 30. However, the uh, engine continues to run. We also went uh, supersonic. And then at T 85 seconds is where th <laughs> uh, things really hit the fan. Um, we see engine 6 with lots of communication uh, to tr thrust back to control. Um, and... Um, Roughly from this point onwards, we, we lose uh, thrust vector control of the rocket, so we lose steering at T plus 85 seconds. Because we did initiate the flight termination system, but it was not enough to, to it, it took way too long to rupture the tanks. The vehicle structural margins appear to be uh, better than we expected. <laughs> As we can tell by the fact that the, the vehicle is actually doing somersaults towards the end and uh, still staying intact. The, the outcome was roughly in the sort of what I expected. Holy rested metal, Batman!